The CISM exam is a challenging exam that tests your knowledge and expertise in information security management. It consists of 150 multiple choice questions that you have to complete in only 4 hours. The exam is available in 4 languages. Simplified Chinese, English, Spanish and Japanese. The scoring system for the CISM exam ranges from 200 to 800, with a minimum score of 450 required to pass the exam. It is important to note that the exam is designed to test your knowledge and experience in four specific domains – Information Security Governance, Information Security Risk Management, Information Security Program and Incident Management. Each domain makes up a certain percentage of the exam. So for example, 30% of the exam will be about Incident Management, which means you can expect around 45 questions about that topic. Each question in the CISM exam has a stem, which is the actual question or an incomplete statement. Sometimes even a little scenario might be provided to add more context to the question. The questions are all presented in a multiple choice format, meaning you will have a few answer choices to choose from for each question. Your task is to select the correct or best answer from the options provided. This means sometimes more than one answer is correct, but only the best answer is supposed to be selected. To select the best answer, you should look out for keywords like best, worst, most and so on. Now in this example we are asked the following question. Which of these scenarios would be the biggest obstacle to successfully implementing security governance? The options provided all seem to make sense, meaning all of them are an obstacle to successfully implementing security governance in an organization. However, the lack of high-level sponsorship is by far the biggest obstacle as top management has the power to assign more budget and rearrange business priorities. The exam is computerized, meaning right after you have submitted your final answer and marked the test as completed, you will be provided with a pass or fail status. The scores for each job practice domain are scaled. This means not all questions count the same. In other words, you can't assume the number of questions you are required to answer correctly. Scores range from 200 to 800. In order to pass the exam, you need to achieve a score of at least 450. The CISM exam is offered in two ways, remote proctored testing and on-site testing. Remote proctored testing has been introduced recently due to the COVID-19 pandemic and it allows candidates to take the exam from the comfort of their own homes. On the other hand, on-site testing requires candidates to travel to a designated testing center to take the exam. Remote proctored testing allows for greater flexibility in scheduling the exam as it can be taken at any time of day, whereas on-site testing is typically only offered during specific hours at designated testing centers. However, remote proctored testing requires candidates to have a reliable internet connection in a quiet, distraction-free environment, as they will be monitored by a remote proctor throughout the exam. On-site testing provides a more traditional testing experience, where candidates can take the exam in a controlled environment under the supervision of an on-site proctor. This option may be preferable for those who prefer a structured testing environment or who may not have access to a suitable environment for remote testing. While remote proctored testing and on-site testing both have their pros and cons, it's important to choose the option that best suits your needs and circumstances.